Hello there and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Today we're going to be having a look at the Boolean setting within the Virtual Sensors interface. So let's jump ahead and uh, go and click the uh, Virtual Sensors tab right here. OK, so uh, let's go ahead and we're going to set up a Boolean setting uh, within the Virtual Sensors. So let's pick a number, uh, let's say 15. OK, and then we're going to go to Configuration, Source, we're going to select Boolean, and then click Next. OK, so first of all, we've got the Select Board. Now this can be, uh, you, have three, you have three options here, or maybe even more, depending on how many uh, expansion ports you've got plugged into your Security Probe 5e. Uh, we're going to select the Internal RJ45 Board, and um, let's select on that uh, board, let's have... Uh, let's have humidity port 1 and we'll select the status to boolean high critical. Then for the next one let's take uh, the uh, internal uh, board again and on this one we will select the temperature on port 1 and we'll also select high critical. Now what will happen is when these two sensors if they both hit high critical then this virtual sensor will also display a high critical status. Uh, that's essentially what will happen. So let's go ahead and click finish. And just wait for that to load up. Okay, so at the moment you can see that our virtual sensor on port 15 uh, is displaying a normal status. It's online. We've got our normal state value. Uh, we've also got our uh, description here, uh, a status when it's normal we have our description of the status when it's critical and we can change those at any point to whatever um, status readout you would like it to say. Uh, the sensor name can be changed uh, to anything that you'd like. We will leave that as a virtual sensor port 15 and then we'll just write boolean at the end. Uh, in our advanced settings we have our graph options, we can toggle that on or off. Once again, uh, the sensor's URL, uh, all these options appearing exactly the same as time and time before. You can open that URL in the current window or in a new window. And right below that you have the continuous time for a sensor to be in a new status before it accepts the new status. And you can change this to uh, however many seconds you would like. So for example, if you want the high critical, if you want it to remain in a high critical status for let's say 10 seconds before it reports on that status, that's what you would write in that box right there. Then finally at the bottom we have our calendar options. You can toggle that on or off, select the days in the week and the hours in the day in which you would like this sensor to report. Uh, we'll go right ahead and click save. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to force this into a, uh, into a critical status. So let's go to our summary page. OK, and you can see on our virtual sensors, we have virtual sensor port 15 boolean, and it's currently reading a normal status. Now, this is, uh, at the moment, this is on our temperature and our humidity on port 1, on our uh, internal RJ45 board. So let's get back to our sensors. And we'll go to our sensor ports. And we're going to go to uh, our dual sensors. And first of all, let's take our temperature into a high critical, and we'll just uh, save that. Let's wait for that page to reload. And now let's take click our uh, humidity tab. and as you can see our humidity is already in a high critical obviously the boolean virtual sensor isn't going to revert to a high critical status until both of these go into high critical so it would need more than just the one so now they're both in high critical let's go back to the summary page and there you can see we've got our virtual sensor port 15 boolean is now displaying a critical status uh, and that's the boolean setting 